This is the New Mexico Museum of Art located in Santa Fe, New Mexico. In this video, we'll share our own experiences as we walk through and explore this New Mexico Museum of Art in Santa Fe, the capital of New Mexico. Check out our other videos for Santa Fe and Albuquerque, New Mexico. Like this video and write a comment. We really want to hear from you so that we can keep improving our content. Welcome to HIFIG. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This is the Santa Fe, New Mexico Travel Guide series. This episode is the New Mexico Museum of Art Travel Guide for visitors to Santa Fe. Getting to the New Mexico Museum of Art is pretty easy. Just look for the big brown signs that say Historic Plaza. The New Mexico Museum of Art is located on the northwest side of the Historic Plaza area in downtown Santa Fe. The entrance is located at 107 West Palace Avenue, Santa Fe, New Mexico, Kitty Corner to the Historic Santa Fe pa uh, Plaza. Parking in the Historic Plaza area is uh, fairly difficult on the weekends and there's lots of locals and tourists here during the summer, especially on the weekends. There is metered parking along the street, if you can find one, and a few parking lots. There's a parking lot on the north end of the plaza near the post office on South Federal Place. For information about parking lots and garages, please refer to the Santa Fe NM.gov parking lots and garages website. We also found out there are free public shuttles called the Santa Fe Pickup that connect with the Rail Runner uh, Station, some of the downtown hotels, and Museum Hill. For information about the shuttle, bus routes, and Rail Runner service, please refer to the Santa Fe NM.gov route, maps, and schedules website. The Art Museum is also located just around the corner from the Downtown Transit Center on Sheridan Street, so you can easily take the public bus routes uh, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, M, and P. We got lucky and parked along the street by the post office on the northern end on South Federal Place. It's a bit away, but no more than 5-10 minutes walk to the, uh, to the museum. Besides, walking around this area is highly recommended. The streets are clean and lined with trees and adobe buildings and there's bright flowers and all sorts of gallery shops and cafes to look in. The museum is open Tuesday through Sunday 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and the first Friday of each month from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. This museum is closed on Mondays. We began our self-guided tour by visiting the awe-inspiring St. Francis Auditorium. It has huge Vega wood beams on the ceiling and giant murals. At first I thought it was a church, but the St. Francis Auditorium is actually a venue for cultural and musical organizations, including the Santa Fe Cambria Music Festival. From the auditorium, we walked outside to the West Sculpture Garden. Although the space was small, it did have some very interesting sculptures uh, titled The Cherry Bomb and Border Crossing. The Santa Fe Museum of Art is made up of two floors with an east and west wing, as well as sculpture gardens on the west side of the building, as well as a small memorial sculpture garden on the other side. There's also the St. Francis Auditorium and a central courtyard. Exhibitions rotate and focus on primarily New Mexican artists or artists who focus on the New Mexican experience. There are many innovative and modern paintings, installations, films, and sculptures used to uh, relay both history 
and addresses issues like equity, social priorities, and their impact on communities locally and abroad. For your information, there is also an elevator in this beautifully restored adobe building. After getting off the elevator, we made our way to the Memorial Sculpture Garden and enjoyed sitting under the shading uh, vines. Although we didn't have time to visit, other works from the New Mexico Museum of Art Collection can be viewed in the public spaces at the Governor's Mansion located at One Mansion Drive in Santa Fe. Free docent-led uh, tours are available on the second and fourth Tuesday of each month starting uh, December through March. The tours are offered anytime between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. Reservations can be made by calling 505-476-2800. If you like modern art with a message or just like art in general, this small museum is a cool place to visit on those hot New Mexican days. At the end of our visit, we made our uh, way to the central courtyard. Here, there's a small garden in the center with a water fountain and murals along the walls with hanging uh, chilies called ristras. These red chili ristras are displayed near arches, doors, and windows as a symbol of welcome and sent uh, to bring good health and good luck. For the information, if you're interested in taking one of these home to decorate your own home, remember that they require an arid climate to maintain their vibrant color. If you're visiting from a state with humidity, consider, consider having your ristras uh, treated with lacquer. This will help preserve them. We rested on the benches along the portal in the courtyard and enjoyed the warm breeze and sun. It was truly pleasant and we really thoroughly enjoyed the time here. Once we completed our visit, we exited through the gift shop out to the plaza area on the left side of the building. Please make sure to wear comfortable shoes as you will be on your feet and bring some water. We highly recommend this well curated New Mexico Art Museum. It will take an hour or more depending on your interest. Combine your visit with the New Mexico History Museum and the Santa Fe Historic Plaza area. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig travel channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.